What do I most miss from my childhood? So for the record, and this will surprise, I think, many of you, because I'm a happy individual, and if I may say, and I thank God for this, a healthy individual, I didn't have a happy childhood. In fact, at 14, I, uh, my whole life turned around, and I've been happy ever since I was 14. It's its own fascinating story, but uh, it's not necessary to answer this question. So I don't miss my childhood as such, because it wasn't particularly happy. I mean, I wasn't battered or abused or anything like that. It just was not a happy childhood. That's okay. Maybe it inoculated me against unhappiness, uh, for all I know. It, it taught me at a young age life wasn't easy, which is one of the greatest lessons you could have if you want to be happy. But uh, uh, what I miss from my youth, that I could better answer from the first year of teenagehood or second year onward. Well, I miss the carefree spirit that dominated American life. Nobody worried. There was no even, there was no concept of being canceled for your opinion. You said, you said what you had to say. Comedians could tell jokes. There were vast, vast arenas of American life that were not politicized. You went to a baseball game and you didn't, know or care if the guy next to you was a, was a Republican or a Democrat, a liberal or a conservative, an atheist or a religious person. You just knew you were both rooting, root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame from the famous seventh inning stretch song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. The carefree nature of American life, not for every American, there's no such thing, but for most Americans, that's what uh, I miss. I miss it for me, but I miss it most for young people today. I, I miss... Uh, what I miss is again gone, or at least disappearing, was a joy in celebrating being an American. It was... Uh, Superman was truth, justice, and the American way. They've dropped that to truth, justice, and the better way. They've even stopped the making Superman an American. In the comic strip about 10 years ago, he actually renounced his American citizenship, Superman did. Became a citizen of the world, standing in front of the United Nations. That celebration of your country is a wonderful aspect of, of a person's life in any, con in any country. Also, there was no, there was no overarching fear of the future, which there is for young people today. I mean, I keep reading about psychological problems for young people because of global warming, climate change, which is really a, a form of child abuse on the part of adults. To make children scared of their future is a form of child abuse and I fully acknowledge that people who love their children engage in it doesn't matter it's still child abuse so there's there's so much I mean again the carefree nature my mother I remember this vividly I lived in Brooklyn New York and I lived about a six minute walk from a candy store. A candy store in New York is, you know, where you get any, you could sit at the fountain and order a sandwich, get newspapers. New York had nine newspapers when I was a kid, nine. I think I could still name them. I mean, that's really astonishing, nine newspapers. And I always loved them. I bought a lot of them. I love newspapers. I love ma news magazines. Anyway, uh, she would send me to the candy store at about the age of eight. And uh, you know what? To buy her cigarettes. <laughs> uh, today you're carded for cigarettes if you're 40. I was eight. What would you like? Lucky Strike? Winston? Kent? 
That was a better America, in my opinion. It was a better America. You don't want your kid to smoke, don't have them smoke. It's not society's business uh, to... uh, You would think it's society's business because you're so used to the idea that society tells you how to live. The America in which I grew up and all of America prior to my childhood was you make decisions for your children. Of course, my parents didn't want me to smoke and I didn't smoke. But buy a pack for my mom? Why not? It, it, of course, it didn't occur to me as, as at all remarkable. I just went to get my mother. I think she smoked Kent. I went to get her cigarettes. It, it, in every way, there was just a more carefree existence. You weren't as nearly as aware, you weren't as nearly aware of the government as you are today. The government is all over. And remember I just said about the politicizing uh, the, of uh, sporting events, you know, which, you know, taking the knee at a football game, wearing BLM paraphernalia, or having it on the pitcher's mound at a baseball game. This was, this was unheard of. The whole point of sports was to have Americans enjoy one another, whatever their politics, not to shove their politics in your face. Late night comedy was late night comedy. The purpose of late night comedy was not to tell you their political views. It was to have you go to bed with a little laughter. It was as apolitical as you can get. So yeah, there's a lot I miss. And these are just the things that that come to mind. In high school, I was preoccupied, as I always have been, with the great questions of life. Is there an afterlife? Is there a God? What is good and evil? And girls. Those are my preoccupations. And that's the way it should be. Guys were chasing girls, and girls wanted to be chased. And, 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 and that, was, that was really nice. It was an exciting and fun part uh, of being a kid. Not today. Okie doke. <laughs>